What's going on guys? So earlier this week I uh, learned of some sad news. Uh, photographer Ricky Powell passed away at the age of 59. Uh, if you don't know who Ricky Powell is, he was a, uh, a uh, documentary photographer uh, out of New York and he, he documented a lot of the uh, early 80s, mid 80s, uh, 90s uh, hip hop scene. Uh, he also did, you know, street photography as well. <clears throat> and uh, he uh, he kind of came up with the the Beastie Boys. He was he was also known as like the fourth Beastie Boy unofficially. Um, uh, he photographed them. He did a lot of their famous shots uh, in their albums and whatnot, and and promo promo shots, uh, Run DMC, just a lot of the hip hop acts up in New York uh, in the 80s and 90s. And uh, um, <clears throat> so I was kind of exposed to him uh, in my younger years um, that way, but I really didn't know who he was until I, uh, well, I, I had purchased a, a book called Oh Snap of his um, after I had gotten into photography. And that's kind of like when I first learned about who he was as a photographer. And then I picked up uh, this book right here uh, later on, and uh, but but I really I really uh, kind of learned more about him through the documentary called Everybody Street, and uh, I will actually link that below. Um, and if you're in, into street photography, uh, it's definitely a good watch. Um, he was uh, he was known as the Funky Uncle. <laughs> um, he also went by the lazy the lazy hustler. Um, he was he was kind of an oddball, but uh, he he definitely um, from what people say and in interviews I've heard, um, you know, uh, he he was a good guy and he cared about people um, and the people he photographed. And he has quite a few, uh, I guess, quote unquote, famous uh, images that he created. He he did one of. Uh, of uh, Cindy Crawford as she came out of the bathroom he was a he was a bus boy at, at some place and he was cleaning the woman's restroom and Cindy Crawford came out of the stall and uh, he was like oh can I get a, a quick shot of you and uh, so he, he took a, a picture of Cindy Crawford in the women's bathroom um, <clears throat> and he has a lot of a lot of iconic images uh, in the hip-hop scene but uh, anyways I just wanted to uh, make this video uh, to share with you guys uh, Ricky Powell and some of his work um, this book right here um, he's got some some pretty good work in it uh, that's that's him right there another good shot but yeah he was a uh, he was also a street photographer, and he just documented uh, documented New York. Um, also, he was in a Beastie Boys video, uh, "Fight for Your Right." He was in that video as one of the nerds in the video. Another shot of his. Um, but yeah, he was he was uh, definitely well known in the uh, hip-hop community up in New York. Uh, one, one cool thing that, that, I mean, it's cool to me, um, he, he really wasn't a, a technical photographer, but uh, people said that, that he, knew how to, he knew how to capture a moment. Uh, he was in the right places at the right times, and he knew how to uh, you know, document what was going on around him. Um, but, uh, anyways, what, what's kind of cool to me is, uh, several years ago, uh, I bought this, this camera right here, the Minolta Hymatic AF2, and, uh, this has kind of turned out to be my, um, pretty much my everyday carry film camera. Um, I've taken this on several trips, and 
I've made a couple books using this this camera right here. It's pretty much uh, just a point and shoot film camera. But uh, in the documentary, Everybody Street, uh, when he's being interviewed, he has this he has this around him, and this this was his camera of choice actually. And so I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, it's a it's it's basically uh, an, an automatic camera, automatic focus, automatic exposure. You just point and shoot. Uh, all, the only the only uh, thing you adjust is the the ISO and uh, uh, <clears throat> I actually I actually uh, had a couple brief conversations with him on uh, on Instagram and I had asked him probably it's been within the last year I asked him if he still used the the Minolta and uh, he said he would for professional assignments he would still use that uh, but for every day running around he would just use a cell phone but uh, I think it's pretty cool that you know a simple camera like that he used for prof for professional work and uh, I mean he, he he got the job done <laughs> and uh, a lot of people think you need the, the the highest and the newest and the and the best model and uh, it's not always the case but um, you know and I don't want this to be like a get into like a, a gear um, gear video or whatever but uh but anyways uh you know he 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 was well known and and uh, he did his thing and anyways i wanted to just make this video um in response to what i what i had heard earlier this week um i enjoyed seeing his post online um i guess somebody has has taken over his account on instagram because they've been they've been sharing um, i know he he's had uh I guess uh, assistants working for him and, and stuff like that over the years. So they they probably uh, you know have had hands in his his uh, Instagram as well. So they're the, they're most likely the ones running it now. But anyways, I'm gonna leave some links below. Uh, feel free to check them out. There are some videos uh, of him on YouTube, and I'm gonna end with uh, some some images he's he's done. All right.